Good evening. Malta is well prepared in the event of the coronavirus spreading to the country. Health authorities have said after concerns sparked panic buying at supermarkets and pharmacies. The health authorities called for calm and said fake reports on social media were causing unnecessary alarm after the outbreak in Italy spread south, including neighboring Sicily. Authorities said there are no known cases in Malta and one person who was tested after arriving from Italy on Tuesday confirmed negative. In a media conference, Public Health Superintendent Charmaine Gauci said all passengers entering Malta International Airport were being tested with thermal cameras, which measure body temperature, and these will be introduced from Wednesday at the cruise liner terminal in the Grand Harbour and for catamaran passengers arriving from Sicily. Prime Minister Robert Abela said Malta can no longer tolerate the situation where it disproportionately deals with the burden of irregular migration without the help of other EU member states. He was speaking in a meeting with Home Affairs European Commissioner Yilva Johansson. Robert Abela said that no concrete action had been taken in terms of finding a European solution to the migration issue, notwithstanding many discussions having been held. Dr. Abela said the problem is even more worrying in the context of our size and population density. He said 3,400 migrants arrived in Malta in 2019 and more than 1,000 in the first two months of the year. European Commissioner Johansson said that it was absolutely possible to manage irregular migration but acknowledged that it was very challenging and that there was an issue of lack of trust between member states when it came to the issue. Johansson said that she had held the dialogues with all member states, with her visit to Malta having been the last in the line of meetings, and that she now felt more optimistic that a solution could be reached than she did previously. The commissioner said that it had to be taken into account that member states were facing very different geographical realities and that those countries which were in a more difficult situation had to be supported. The European Commissioner said, however, that any way forward would have to be adopted by all EU member states. It is difficult, she said, but possible. Education Minister Owen Bonici said lockers and drinking fountains are to be installed in all state schools as part of an attempt to prevent students from being loaded down with heavy rucksacks. The education minister said the initiative was being introduced because pupils are being laid down with textbooks, files and water bottles. He said it was in the planning stages and could not give a deadline for when they could be installed across all schools. He also announced guidelines on the weight of school bags and how they should be pegged. Studies carried out among students aged 8 to 13 years indicated that over 70% had a school bag that exceeded the recommended bag weight.